Lindsay here. She's not happy I put an elf hat on her. She's got little ears. And then she has her jingle bells that she wants to chew on. But we put them on just for you guys. We wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays um, before Frenzy destroys her little outfit. I hope everyone's doing well and uh, enjoying winter break probably and spending time, more time with family um, and maybe seeing some other family virtually that you haven't seen for a while, eating good food. We've got a lot of things going on, but also we're you know working on staying at home quite a bit. So uh, Frenzy's been busy. She has some big news to share. She's pretty excited about, come here Frenzy. She graduated puppy kindergarten she got a certificate for finishing her first class of uh, puppies kindergarten at puppy level one. So that was pretty exciting. We used positive uh, dog training and it's so important to take your puppies somewhere to experience other puppies that are around them, uh, other people, a different building. So they learn what all of those things are in their life that they're friendly and they're, they learn it when they're young, kind of like you guys are in school while you're young. It's easier to learn things when you're little. So that's why it's important to take puppies to, to puppy school. She'll continue on. We'll keep doing puppy school until she's a year old. So she's almost six months old, guys. So how many more months is that of training that Frenzy has to be in? And honestly, I do training with my dogs all throughout their life, but it's really important that all dogs have training through a year old. Come here, Frenzy. Um, the other thing that Frenzy wanted to share is she's actually sniffing at it, so I'll bring it out, is a two new trick that Frenzy has learned. And some of you guys might see what this looks like. So I've got treats in here. I'm gonna put them in my pocket or else she's gonna eat them. So I've got treats in my pocket. I've got one treat out here. So this is kind of hard because she's not very good at weight. Or just wait, ah, wait, wait. Gonna put all three out, ah, ah, wait, good girl. Put all three cups out and then I'm gonna put this treat in one of the cups. She's not gonna know which one because I'm gonna hide her eyes. It's gonna be over here. And now watch Frenzy, go find it. She's gonna use her nose to find the treat. Oh, did she find it guys? I think she did. She's gonna have to decide that that's the one it's in. There, she found it. She's gotta figure out how to tip over the cup. So she's looking in the other one, like maybe I missed it over here, but she's using her nose. Dogs use noses to find things. And see, now she's decided it's in that cup. So she's gonna chase that cup around <laughs> until she can, there she got the tree. So now she knows she's gotta find the treat in which cup. So now she's gonna look at this again, again, sit, wait, wait. So I'm gonna set the cups up again. So I'll set it in the center cup this time. So the treat's in my thing. I'm hiding her eyes so she can't see it. You can do this with your dogs at home. I say, find it. So she's gonna go check out all the different cups, all the cups and decide which one it's in. She doesn't even go to that cup in the, over there because she found the treat in the middle one. Good job, Frenzy, give me five. Good job. That's awesome. All right, we'll do it one more time. These are things you can do with your dog at home to keep them occupied. Sit. Wait, I'm using liver treats. They're really yummy treats that she likes. All right, so we haven't put it in this the far this cup yet. So I'm gonna put it in there. All right, find it. Oh, and she got to that one immediately. Good girl, Frenzy. And she was able to get the treat without dumping over the cup. Good girl. So that's a fun game that you guys can play with your own dogs at home. You can just find some plastic cups of any type. Um, that your parents might have some. You can even use regular cups. They don't have to be plastic uh, if your parents will let you, but do ask. So that's a fun game that Frenzy wanted to show you guys. The other thing is, is that because it's winter break, Frenzy has got special things coming her way and she wanted to share one 
with you guys. Frenzy wants to open a present that she got. So she, let's see, she's never had a present before. So she doesn't really know what to do and how to get into it. So we'll see. I might have to bring her back on camera if she doesn't. She's nosing it around a lot right now. Can you guys guess what's in her present? What do you think is in Frenzy's present? Now she's starting to use her teeth a little bit. Oh, there she goes. She's going to tear off all the paper. And I think she knows what's in there now. She's pretty excited. It's one of her favorite things. Frenzy, do you want to show everyone what you got? She's checking to make sure she can get all the paper off. So Frenzy got, actually she's working on getting all the paper off. Frenzy got a really cool bone to chew on. So all the, those bones that she loves to chew on help her lose her teeth when she was a puppy. Now she no longer has any teeth to lose, but dogs still like to chew. It's very healthy for their teeth. It cleans the teeth so they stay nice and white. Uh, so she always will have bones to chew and I make sure they're safe. I always watch them when they're chewing them But that's a really happy thing for her. So she wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday break and uh, Maybe some folks will get snow. We haven't seen snow yet uh, We have some fun adventures with our buddy Cutter as well as uh, Cutter's dad Blade and Hazy and her mama Chase so I uh, hope you guys enjoy those and uh, love the questions. Keep them coming. And we'll also do another story. Uh, Frenzy's going to read another book here coming up soon. So uh, hopefully you guys can catch up with that uh, when you can. So take care, you guys.